All right, hello everybody, welcome back. Today, I'm playing with the Abomination again. Um, so yeah, we're going to be playing with this guy. End turn, swallow and copy leftmost starter battle shop pet to land a battle. Um, at level 3, you can eat up to 3 starter battle pets. And if you run parrots behind them, even level 1 parrots can copy the whole set of abilities. And as you level up the parrot, the abilities also level up. So you can like, potentially eat like 3 leopards and have this guy doing 3 level 3 leopard abilities. And you can just like have a massive chain of that, so... Yeah, it's been a while since I tried this before, so we're going to see what we can do this time. And let's be the smooth poses. I've tried it a couple of times today, but I haven't had the the luck. I either find the parrots and not the abominations, or the other way around. <laughs> and yeah, that's that's not what you want. And neither is this. We're at 5. Also, we have combos, which is amazing. Um... Hmm, if I stack Basilisk, then it may trigger before the Axander Hound, but again, we're at 5, so it doesn't really matter what happens. So, yeah, I'm just going to send it. If we lose a snipe, we lose a snipe, but... Oh, yeah, see? <laughs> yeah, we lost the snipe. We actually might be okay anyway, though. Yeah. Okay, did not matter at all. Oh, okay. So I think I level the Basilisk, but I'm going to hold off on the Axe Hound Hound, because I don't really care about Tier 3, but Tier 4, there's a load of great stuff. And I may be rolling a lot, so we can take a Mana Hound. Yeah, it sounds good to me. Kind of helps this guy as well. And maybe I just, like, buy random apples or something. Or I could buy a Thunderbird, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm just going to buff up the Axe Hound Hound. So, yeah, let's make sure this is working fine. Don't care about any of that. So I could go for a combo on this thing, but I don't know. I don't really want to keep it. And they're very strong front line, but we are going to push through. Yeah, good. Okay. Uh, we are not trying to level you anymore. I <laughs> could buy more of these. Yeah, let's just make that kind of big. All right. Send again. It's all good. And show me duplicates. I want to snipe something. Yes. <laughs> Okay, they didn't snipe the biggest things, but we got the snipes off, and that's what matters. Three trophies, still looking pretty solid. Now, show me something good. I mean, I can take the XP. Yeah, I mean, I, I may buy some of this stuff anyway, because, like, Woodpeck is pretty strong. So I can maybe do this, and I don't think I'm going to buy a Gingerbread, because I don't think it matters too much. I can use it on you, maybe, but yeah. <laughs> Capybara. Capybara could be nice. Yeah, I think we swap that in immediately, actually. And I'm not going to buy any of these. I will buy these, actually, next turn. But yeah, this is going to be nice for when we find our first, like, Abomination and Parrot. Because if we can get them slightly bigger to start, then it helps with any of the... Any of the start combat abilities that scale with their stats. So that's stuff like Werewolf, Lion... Um... What? Leopards? There are things. <laughs> Lots of things. And we're actually leveling this up immediately, because again, we need tier 4s. And that's X XP, so that's fine. And honestly, I think we just buy that roll once. And then next turn, we're going to start swapping stuff out again. So, I don't know if I get rid of the Mana Hound first, because honestly, this, this is actually getting good value. And obviously, the other dog is just too big to throw away. And apparently, the team is just amazing. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're going to be rolling a lot, but let's get rid of the Mana Hound, so play this for a bit. Don't sell it yet, and there's a Parrot, great. Okay, so buy sell this, see what it turns into. Tiny Kraken, not interested. Um, I do want to do this. Of everything, I think I'd rather copy the Axe Hound Hound, but yeah, we're throwing that behind an Abomination when that shows up. So keep rolling. Orc is pretty strong. I'm still not going for the Axe Hound Hound level. Like, we're too likely to not run into duplicates, and yeah. Doesn't matter. So yeah, there are better things I could be buying, but the dream, <laughs> the full dream, is to literally only have Abomination and a ton of Parrots. So I'd maybe take a Cyclops to try and get extra stuff out, and you know what, we are doing this. There we go, okay. Um, you've actually been doing great work for us, but yeah, I, I do want to keep the Capybara separate for a bit, so I'm actually going to do this. And I'm doing that because if we do find a Cyclops, then I can use it to get extra XP on both, because I need everything to be extremely high level. Um, a rock is a pretty good thing to copy here, so we do have something in front of the Abominations, so that still works fine. And yeah, he's only buying one thing. So just, just run the rest. There we go, okay. 
And I can maybe freeze a hawk for next turn to eat, but honestly, we're going to be rolling a lot anyway, so... Don't think it matters too much. Maybe could have shuffled things around to, like, spread the stats over more things. Yeah, like, we didn't necessarily need a 10 damage snipe there, but taking out the secretary bird, pretty big. And we, <laughs> we lost a horse, I respect that. Okay. So, lion, not that great, because we don't have a lot of stats. Um, like a blobfish. I could level you. And it could be good if we find a cool tier 6 to, like, eat this turn. Plus, again, we can just kind of roll into the nice things, so... <laughs> sure, let's do that. Yeah, take the Mantis Shrimp. I think we freeze this, because again, any XP will be very appreciated. Um, we can't level you this turn unless I sell something, and I want to keep the Cyclops. For now, at least. So, yeah, I think... Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Definitely don't need more Capybara. Not going to freeze any of that. Send, I think. Okay, so that's going to be pretty good. Like, two da 10 damage snipey things. Oh. Well, it actually was still pretty good, because the, <laughs> the Woodpecker did manage to get rid of a couple of the, the wall triggers, I think. So, next we're doing this. And Spirit and Husky, Monkey, Vargas. No, we don't need any of that. Um, I do want to pill this. I don't know whether I wait. I'm kind of tempted to wait. We can maybe get rid of Capybara now, because the stats on the Parrot isn't that important, as long as they do stagger a little bit. But also, that feels like such a throw. <laughs> oh, whatever. Okay, just play it for now, and then we can try and roll into useful things. Okay, so that's more of that. Honestly, we probably just had to eat, like, two rocks or something and shuffle things around. So, spread him out a bit more. And then he's going to eat two rocks. You're going to have the same two rock abilities. So that's going to be a lot of snipes. And yeah, I mean, let's like spread it out even more. Actually, wait. Yeah, we can gingerbread. Gingerbread's pretty solid. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good about this. We're definitely going to try and get this thing to level three before the parrots, I think. Just because eating more things, it does mean that the parrot gets more things as well. And yeah, that's a lot of high damage snipes. No. <laughs> No. Okay. Yeah, still don't need any of that. Not going to need this either. So let's just get... Do I level you? Then it's kind of a waste of the Cyclops. Hmm. Okay, never mind. We do it on here then. And we can see if we can find the other level for that. Um, actually, I'm going to freeze this. I'm going to buy another one of these, but I don't know if it's going to be helpful or not. Um... Okay, those are both good things to eat. Like, maybe just, like, let all of this get eaten, and then, you know, you can eat the hawk. Because you have more attacks, you're going to eat first. Um, I think I'm just going to keep rolling, though. We definitely don't need more of those. There we go, that's what we wanted. And you know what, let's not waste money. Let's get rid of this immediately. Throw this down. So, you're going to eat the crocodile and the hawk, which is amazing. You're going to get level 2 crocodile and hawk triggers off. And then you're going to get level 1 crocodile and hawk triggers off. Same with you. And, yeah, you're not going to eat anything, but that's fine. <laughs> that's, that's fine. Next turn, we level this guy. And then we can have another parrot. It's not going to be perfect, because this guy is going to have the same attack as the other 4-2. But it's still something. And that wasn't terrible, but also I think this is too much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sad one to lose, but maybe we'll ramp up in strength very soon. So, let's get you leveled up. Um, Stegosaurus is an amazing thing to eat. I can freeze Cockatrice as well, but I don't know, I don't think I want that to trigger three times, because it doesn't hit different things unless you shuffle. So yeah, probably I'm going to roll. Um, I think I'm going to buy this as well, because if I can stagger their attack tool, that'd be nice. No. Okay, let's take a melon then. I am going to still put it down, even though we have Stegosaurus thing, so it's just going to hit those two a lot. Hopefully. <laughs> And, yeah, maybe get rid of tap here now? I don't know. Okay, freeze links, see if we roll into something else, and we did. Very solid, so, yeah, not sure how these two are going to interact. Hopefully it will chain properly. Nah. Okay, so backline guy isn't doing anything, but at least these three can get really big from the stegos. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> we actually killed their whole team. They did get an amazing tap here summon, though. Yeah, it's solid. Okay, just keep that going. More. 
Okay, I'm going to freeze that. I think this is helpful, but I do still need to give it more attack. Um, leave the sushi, unless... Oh, no, we can take sushi. Okay, good. That staggered it the way we needed it to. So I'm going to freeze that now. Yeah, we can freeze it again. And I don't know. Freeze this. I don't know if I'm going to roll into a pill or not. And if it hits an abomination, then I don't want it. Yeah, let's just leave that. Okay. So this is nice. I'm pretty sure I can level up the parrots in the fight, and it is beneficial. So I can just chocolate this, and then it'll be useful with the gingerbread. Or I could do it onto this one. I'm not sure if that's really an optimal one there. And look at that. They're actually crazy. More XP. Okay. Um, we, we may say goodbye to the Cyclops here. I could stack that in and then buy sell, but yeah, I think I think his time has come. So let's just get that out. It's not going to buy sell it yet. White Tiger could be interesting, but I don't actually know how... Oh no, it actually would be pretty nice. Okay. <laughs> Freeze that. Yeah, okay. Um, and yeah, let's actually sell that. Let's run a four squad, because then I can get both of these leveled up. And see how that goes. And I feel like it's going to go pretty well. So I think everything's going to be level three. I'm pretty certain. And then that means that the snipes are going to be extremely strong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, very good. Okay. Do not mind that at all. Um, I am going to buy sell this. I don't think it can mess me up. I may have to shuffle, but... Hmm, never mind. It did mess me up. Can I fix that, please? Remove 2 HP, give plus 5 attack. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. So, put on to you. That's fine. I think Red Dragon's good. Sepnir isn't too incredible. Don't really need that. I could freeze Tapper again, but... Nah. And Basilisk. Basilisk actually is okay. Oh, actually, no, it doesn't matter yet. But either way, I don't really want to turn my things into rocks. We need, like, big snipes. And this isn't going to be huge, because we're not, not massive, but... Yeah. And yeah, we're going to eat a goose. That's okay, I guess. <laughs> Better than nothing. Oh, it's a big team. They do have crisp, but... Okay. Is it enough? It's actually enough. Not dead. It's not a win, but like... I'll take it. I don't mind stalling this game. And another another guy. Oh, I'm kind of upset. Because I could buy Cyclops, level this up, and then, you know, end on other parrots. Actually, yeah, I think that's fine. Do I do I throw around? Because if I do that, I won't be able to roll for better things. We just eat, like, Woodpecker and Wombat, which is really rough. So maybe I don't do that, and we do roll for better things. I'm just going to hold on to this. So we still don't have a lot of stats, so I don't care, really care about Lion. I will freeze a rock, because that's fine. And maybe I just had to eat this this turn. Because I could just do this and then eat these three this turn. And then if there's another turn, then we can have the Mantis Shrimp then. I kind of like that. Okay, so attack order's fine. They're going to eat these three, but I'm going to keep the Mantis Frozen for if there is a later. And this should be fine. Oh. They don't have a lot of stats, so like... Oh my god, the mana! Um, we're, we're sniping them for a lot, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Oh! So close! Okay. Okay. Oh, dude. <laughs> uh, leveled this up, definitely. Slepnir. Again, we don't have enough attack for that to be a great idea. I could popcorn something. Maybe keep it frozen. I'd love to roll for more chocolates, but yeah, we need things with abilities first. Again, Highland Cow, not that incredible. Come on, roll into something better. The Paris. <laughs> um, eating the Robin isn't going to do anything. Uh, I don't know what the play is. I could just chocolate something. I could like level this up immediately, or this one. And then we will get to see more tier 6s. And chances are the tier 6s will be useful. So yeah, there's a chance that we won't be able to eat the White Tiger, but I still think that's probably the right play. I could do this, but then it has the same attack as that one, and then that's problems. So yeah, I'm kind of... Oh, well. <laughs> okay, we actually didn't find any, so yeah, we'll send it anyway. Hopefully we're not dead. 
That's not incredible, though. Like, we don't really have combat abilities here. Oh, no, it's a wolf game. Oh, wait, no, that's fine. Okay, yeah, we're fine. <laughs> Goodbye, nests. Yeah, all right. Well, that's not a bad attempt. <laughs> Okay, let's go again. That was a great run, but I need I need a better one. All right, Tuchinoko, let's take a goose. Gonna leave the mosquito this time, I think. And I don't know where to leave things, so I'm gonna leave them like that. Where the grumpy fellas. I've been having a few goes of this, and it's very well. I'm gonna say it's very hit and miss, and whether I find what I need. But what I mean is, it's been a lot of misses. <laughs> I can't seem to find enough parrots. Half the time I don't find like either the abomination or the parrot at all, but yeah, I've had a few games now where I find an abomination and a parrot, and then really struggle to find any more after that. These are two threes anyway. I don't think it really matters what I do. Yeah, leave that. So yeah, I just need one good run where I can find enough of both. I've had decent luck in finding like good abilities to copy, but again, I just need I need the more levels. That's all we're gonna be looking for. Okay, so we want to wait on combos here. <laughs> I can go for you, but I really don't want to. Wombat, sure. We can try and level a Wombat as well then. Okay, so I don't know how much positioning matters. You're going to trigger, and then one of these two are, and then the other one, and then this guy. So like everything's going to get shuffled around anyway. Enemies and me. And it's actually bad. We copied, <laughs> we copied a better fish, but there's nothing behind it anymore. Okay, wait, I should shuffle that forward just in case same thing happens. You know what? Go to the front. Have one of these. Yo, okay. Um, Let's make you bigger. You may be useful. We really don't need to buy anything else from this tier. So yeah, that's three combos. That That's pretty good odds that we'll find something helpful. Okay, we didn't get to copy anything there, but we did win, so... <laughs> I'll take that, I guess. And Woodpecker, it could be worth freezing stoats, but let's see what we find. Abomination already. Incredible. And XP for it, maybe. Yes. Yes. Start here. More XP, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, so what I can actually do is I can buy the Blobfish, freeze both of these, and he can eat the Hawk, and I can keep the Crow to buy next turn. That sounds pretty good to me, so yeah, we'll, <laughs> we'll do that. Um, I don't think there's really a good place to put my Blowfish. You're going to be one notch away from a level, but I can't actually use that for anything, so... Yeah. That's pretty nice. So yeah, we got a big snipe there. Didn't really kill something too important, though. Maybe should have moved everything forward so we can snipe something at the front, because those are usually bigger at this kind of tier. In general, but also just around this time. And... Let's get rid of the seahorse. I don't think order's going to be that important. Leveling this is huge, so if I can find a pill to that this turn, I'd love it. Oh, amazing, yeah. Show me another one, or a parrot. Uh, more XP, also great. Okay. And I don't know, I'm kind of looking at Robin, and I think that may actually not be a bad ability to copy. That'd be bad. Um, Dolphin would be good. Let's just copy it. I think it'd be fine. And yeah, buy this. Okay, so Gingerbread Man could be good for parrots. I don't think it's going to be that helpful for anything else, though. Oh god, he's level 2, right. <laughs> okay, I should have moved him to, like right to the front, because now I'm just hitting my own thing. And I forgot, I ate the Robin, and then I bought the Stoats. I've been playing too long. But whatever, it's, it's one round. We can survive 1 HP. Parrot is beautiful. Um, try this first. Okay, that can stay for a bit as well. Uh, I think I'm going to get ready to level this up, because if I do find a, a Cyclops and XP, yeah. Okay, so buy sell this, buy that. Freeze both of these. I'm going to roll for better things to copy, because I don't think Dodo and Eel are it. And Mandrake is. I don't think another Woodpecker is, so I'm going to roll that. And Thunderbird, yeah, Thunderbird's fine. Okay, so you eat both of those. You're also going to get both of those abilities. And, yeah, everything's looking pretty nice. Alright, let's see. That is a very scary... <laughs> Garlic Dodo. Yeah, we're not going to break through that. 
It's turn seven. Why do they have something with like 40 HP? Oh my god. Okay, so level you. I think that's fine. Yes. <laughs> yes, we will level you. Plus, we may be able to see something better to eat. Um, I could actually sell things and have a macaque, but I'd have to run like a three squad for that to not feel really weird. But I guess I can sell the wombat and the hawk, so I don't care about either. Do I just do that? Am I that weird? I think we're that weird. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we roll in something better. Oh, it's huge. Okay. Okay, that's good. So we eat these two. We get to summon two macaques. One of them is going to be, you know, well, not two macaques, sorry, orangutans. One of them is going to be 24 24, which is pretty nice. And yeah, <laughs> I don't mind it. Show me more, more parrots. I need to start an actual chain. Huge. Didn't even need the big one. Okay. <laughs> Again. I mean, if I don't find more. Nah, nah, we, we have to do this. All right. So I could sell... I, I definitely want to do this. I think we roll it. There's some great stuff at tier 5. Uh, swordfish is a no. Just having the crocodile alone is really good. I could sell the cyclops to buy the parrot, but it's, I, I don't want to copy the swordfish either way. Eel is kind of weak. Take another roll. And we got a crocodile. That's huge. Okay, so we've got double crocodile. I could maybe freeze a hawk for next turn, but I don't really want to do that either. The attack is all lined up fine. So yeah, we're going to get five, no, six crocodile snipes. I think. No, is it five? Whatever it is, is sorry, way more than that, because I ate two, but yeah. <laughs> Point is, it's way more than enough. And we can even level you if I wanted. I think I'm going to wait, because who knows if I'm going to find more parrots or not. I haven't had the best <laughs> luck with that. Okay, I will copy you. Don't need a pill, don't really want to copy a lion. Um, that's fine because I do need the XP. But yeah, we need better things, please. Risk a roll. Werewolf. I actually think it is nighttime, so I think that's not too bad. Right? Like, so they're all going to grow a bit. They're not very big, but all their stats should double, which is nice. But yeah, we also get some pretty big snipes for the first four things, so. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's pretty nice. And they actually are huge, never mind. It's incredible. Okay. Oh, we can get you leveled up. Love it. Potentially wasted now that I looked at it actually, but maybe we just say goodbye to this. <laughs> okay, so we definitely need to roll a bit, so maybe I hold on to the chocolate first. Drop that tiger bug, blowfish, Tsuchino no at all. Yeah, we don't need any of that. I could freeze a tap here for a pill maybe, but I'm more interested in not losing this round, so. Yeah, freeze those. And honestly, I don't really care about eating the crab, but I think the hawks will do a fine job by themselves. But if I level that, then it gets messed up. I can buy the emi cake and then change some stuff around, because I can do this. Yeah, okay. So we're staggering the attack again. I don't think it's a problem that this is level 1 and that's level 2. I'm pretty sure it kind of copies the base ability and then it'll still upgrade from here on. That's not going to be a problem. <laughs> yep. Oh, it's so satisfying. Love this. Okay, Cocktrice, no. We don't need more of that. Um, I'm going to level you up anyway. Let's just get that going. Stegosaurus is amazing. So yeah, we're freezing that. Again, <laughs> I could buy you in case I get this leveled up. Um, I'd rather not do that. Oh, double Stegosaurus. I could buy sushi, but no. Keep rolling. Okay, just in case we roll into something bad, I'll just freeze another rock, but... Yeah, I don't see us losing this round unless they snipe me first. Because we are going to have a lot of stats. I just want another one. We need one more parrot. And to get, like, this one slightly larger, but... Oh my god, yeah, they're all 50-50. <laughs> That's monstrous. Okay. Show me XP. Yeah, I can use that. Alright, so I can put down there. And then I could also buy an Eevee cake for it if I wanted. I don't think it's really necessary though. So yeah, we're going to roll. Freezing that's good. I could buy stats, but it's kind of weak compared to a lot of other things we could do. 
and yeah, we're just gonna do that. And again, freeze slept there. It's not incredible, but there are potentially bad things to copy out there. <laughs> like if I do get a swordfish, I don't really want my whole team to just explode for no reason. So yeah, for now, this will work. We're gonna freeze this guy for next turn. And yeah, still looking very good. Oh, they're gonna have a lot of summons, but we are going to kill everything before they get stats, I think. Uh, I'm scared. <laughs> We're fine, okay. Okay, that was kind of a scary fight. A lot, <laughs> a lot closer than I was hoping for. Don't want that. We could get another gingerbread man and like maybe, but yeah, I think we leave it open. Except there's not great. Skunk, I'd rather only have if it's our first thing. Red dragon is probably too much because right now we'd be giving like, well, with the white tiger, it would definitely be way too much. So, <laughs> so yeah, definitely freezing those two. Roll the red tiger. Highland cow, they're not going to be that big. Hmm. Hmm, I don't want an armadillo, but I could use it. Because like, if we're going to get the snipes off first, then you know we can like heal up our own team. But let's keep rolling for more snipes. And yeah, that's what we found. Great. <laughs> okay. Send again. We never found the fourth parrot, but this is a very strong turn. So unless they also have snipes and summons, then I think we probably have it here. They actually do have snipes. Yes, I mean, it's not a... Oh, it is a win! He lives on one! <laughs> okay. He lived. I didn't even notice. Alright, great. <laughs> okay. Well, I hope you guys love Abomination as much as I do, because this guy is actually great fun. Um, I'll leave the pack I used in the description, and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Alright, bye-bye.